Up in the East Bay Hills, there are a collection of stone walls that people have been discussing for well over 100 years, sort of debating and guessing at who built them, when they were built, why they were built. There's no evidence that they're interconnected in any way, but they're seen pretty far north in the Berkeley Hills, all the way down to around San Jose. So one thing that becomes evident as soon as you start looking into this is they've been the source of this sort of romantic speculation for well over 100 years. This is something that's been going on since the early 1900s. The speculation seems almost comical. There are all sorts of theories ranging from, you know, the appearance of Vikings to Lemurians. Lemurians are beings from a lost continent who may have visited at one point and had some reason to build walls. I, I heard somebody suggest there's got to be a Vatican tie-in to this somehow. At one point, there was a, a researcher from Berkeley. He claimed that he had evidence of an ancient city in the Berkeley Hills, and he had a kind of divining rod that would help him locate where this city was. There was a school of thought that perhaps Chinese explorers had come over at some point and built walls for some reason. We know the Chinese began building the Great Wall of China thousands of years ago. Did they build a similar structure here? Which seems incredibly unlikely. Anyway. The basic problem with the walls and determining their provenance is that nobody bothered to keep any records of building them. They were incidental structures. Many people have researched them. Some of them are amateurs and some of them are professional archaeologists. Lo and behold, I was alerted to the existence of somebody named Jeff Fentress, who's an archaeologist with San Francisco State. So there's a fairly intact segment of wall that goes for 100, 200 feet here. His expert opinion, now he will caution you, he doesn't know for sure, but his expert opinion is that these were built probably as a part of ranching or other agricultural operations. You know, a few years before the gold rush, there were only a few hundred non-Indian people in San Francisco. Two years after the gold rush, there were 200,000 people. A lot of these people were running sheep and cattle and they had to keep their cattle and sheep herds separate from everybody else. So nobody bothered to document these things because they were very practical. They were trying to mark a, pro a property line, my idea, or they were building corrals or, or they wanted to direct how cattle were, were moving. You know, I don't know how to explain it other than that. People see these things and they naturally wonder, well, why is that there? They create a story around it and I think that's a natural human tendency this sort of need to access the magical to explain the perhaps very mundane has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm.